Is it yours? Live or die. Did I have you fooled, guys? It's only me, don't worry. Welcome to Halloween week on the channel, where I present two different parks this week, very Halloween themed, followed by a special on Friday, which will be a premiere, so I hope to see you there. I'm not saying any more though. But let's have a look at this park on the workshop, shall we? So it says Halloween, this is my first park and was built to see what I could do within the build limits. Pretty much everything is custom by me, best at night, enjoy and please leave a like if you like it. Trust me rat, I like it, so it got a big juicy thumbs up from me. But let's have a look at this park, shall we? Here we are at the park entrance. Now, Ratsbit actually contacted me personally. He messaged me on PlayStation asking would I mind doing a spotlight on his park. He said if it's good enough. It's one quick thing is I will spotlight any park. Um, people shouldn't ever worry about is their part good enough for me to spotlight i will always spotlight anything but i just found it really funny that rat thought that this park was not good enough for spotlighting i mean let's just have a quick zoom out this park is amazing it is so so good and there are so many positive things in this park and i cannot wait to get into it as you can see it's actually quite a big park now i hope that i don't miss anything I've already had a couple of walks around this park trying to get my bearings so hopefully I actually managed to see everything. Now this right hand side here I'm intentionally going to save till last because these two coasters are amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk up here and go up in this section, we'll have a look all up in there and then we'll come back and have a look in there at the end. So let's jump back down here and let's go in this entrance. So, turn back. Okay. So, thank you ever so much for joining me, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Yada, 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 yada. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this entrance. It's so eerie. We haven't even got in and I'm scared already. And I love this. Look at this, how you put this train carriage up here. You've even got the train track there as well. That's awesome. You can hear the crows everywhere. We've got this murder of crows here. Look at Matty being all intelligent like. A murder of crows. See, I know what I'm talking about sometimes. So, I, I mean, I love this. This is so, so eerie. You've absolutely nailed this theme. You really have. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk left. And we're going to have a look at all this side of the park first. So we've got this flat ride here. Not much in the sense of theming around it. But I don't feel like any of it needed to. To be honest. Because of the nature of the park this is. It works. And a lot of the feedback that I would normally give. I.e. terrain paint and things like that. A lot of them are not really going to matter too much. Because it's at night time. But despite that. I can see that you have still gone around with leaves and things as well. So that's really good. So we'll go past here. We've got rats on the floor. My daughter would love that. Um, my eldest daughter, Jasmine. Um, she's actually got pet rats. Um, not going to lie. I'm, I'm a little bit scared of them. Actually. And it, it's funny. I never expected it either. Because uh, my other daughter, Olivia. She's got gerbils. And I love the gerbils. I think they're really cute. And when Jasmine got the rats. They were like really small. And I was like, oh, they're really cute. And then they grew up, and I'm actually quite scared of them. I think it's the tail, to be honest. I don't know what it is. I, I never expected it. I didn't know that I had a fear of rats until she had them. And I've tried to, like, have them on me and everything. And, oh, yeah, they just give me the heebie-jeebies. But anyway, enough of my uh, real-world stuff. And let's get back to this park, shall we? In mean, all of this around here is just absolutely fantastic. I feel so immersed. And the lighting around here and the ambience is just absolutely brilliant. There's so much detailing everywhere. And like all the food here and the barrels and the boxes. And we've got another queue line here. We're going to go down the fast pass because we are clearly the most important people in the park. And we've got this flat ride here built inside the cave. 
Very nice. Let's work down the exit. And then we come through this barn. It's got all spiders and everything in it. You know, see now spiders don't bother me. Unless they're crawling up my arm. Spiders don't tend to bother me that much. I'll walk down here. And can I just say as well, this is a PlayStation 4 park. This is not PS5, this is PS4. And it's only 65%. So just once again, proving that things are possible on the consoles. Just settling that Oswald counter argument once again. But I think we've got a coaster here. So there's another flat ride over there as well. I'll have a look at that in a second. We're going to go up the priority pass once again. All the theming around this queue line just absolutely spot on. And we come to this broken castle over here, looking really nice. Again, with the lighting and the theming, we've got the bats, we've got the ivy on the wall, just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I really like this. But let's have a look at the stats for this, shall we? So we've got the Impaler. Oh, what a name. We've got green across the board, 6.3 excitement, very nice. G-forces are quite high, but I think this is one of them parks that has been designed for the player, not for ultra-realism. I'm going to pause it there just before that train disappears. Well, so we've got six inversions, 1.5 seconds of airtime. So, without further ado, let's go for a ride. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Straight away, the second you leave the station, I love how it leaves through the broken wall there. And there's so much to see around this ride. Uh, this is going to take a while, I think, because there's just so much scenery around here. The amount of time and effort that you've put building around here. And just look at the terraforming as well, guys. Look at all that terraforming. It's fantastic. But we come down that first drop here. And we've got the pirate ship here that's covered in ghosts. Got all the smoke all around it. Very nice. And we come up. And then we kind of come through this cave system here. So we pass all the snakes. And then we have these inversions here. And then we come back on ourselves, past the snakes again. Really nice. And then we come past the scorpions down here. Now I believe that inversion here might be where your G-forces are coming from. Potentially. Maybe. I would have been 
tempted to maybe just bring that out just a little bit further over here and then back down that way possibly just to maybe bring them g-forces down a little bit and i think it may have been a little bit tight inside here as well possibly maybe just ever so slightly um was a little bit tight and then we also have this up here as well just a little witch's house just up here completely hidden out the way you you barely even notice that to be honest and then we come back along here and then look at all the lighting down here that is amazing the pinks and the reds and the greens the blues i think there's a little bit of orange in there as well just amazing lighting and then you've also got this windmill over here as well just all this decoration on the outside of the park where you can't actually get over to not really going to get seen but you're still taking the time to do that that is absolutely superb yeah brilliant i, I just can't get over over all the terraforming you've done just everywhere all on the outskirts of the park and um, the only massive thing i would say is that needs raising because you are full-blown decapitating your guests as they come in um, in between the ride point of view and then starting this recording again I did have to watch it a couple of times just to actually make sure um, that they were actually decapitating them and it was is there a train coming in a second uh, let's just speed that up a second here again so as it comes around the corner here and let's just pause it quickly yeah it's just a little bit too low um you have just full blown killed your guests but besides that yeah superb so let's hop out the exit exit path put in quite a sensible place as well that's quite good so the guests can hop off quite quickly which is good and let's come down here so we've got these shops here believe they are in-game blueprints i think but it doesn't matter the way you've used them let's just have a quick hop over here just have a look at this flat ride so i don't forget so once again just kind of keeping that same theming with this castle a broken castle all around here so I, this entire section here you've just got this castle built on the wall and i think that's brilliant You've got a hanging man there. I like how you've done that. You've built all that yourself as well. Very clever. And we carry on walking down here. And we come to the chairlift, which takes you over to the other side of the park. Now, we're not obvious. Up, 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 Put your tongue back in, Matty. We're obviously not going to jump on that right now, because that's going to give a little bit too much away. So instead we'll walk down so we've got this viewpoint here look at that for a sight line wow i love the elevation change so all this is higher up and then you've got all that down there let's carry on walking down so i believe there's a path down here if we keep walking down yes there is so this is where we came up before and what we'll do is we'll take a left here and we'll come over the bridge look at all that architecture look at them buildings and the trimming and the lighting just amazing i've said amazing quite a few times this spotlight already i can't believe that you thought that this may not be good enough for spotlight why would you possibly think that so let's walk down here very enclosed feels like Diagon Alley from Harry Potter I don't know which way to go hang on zoom out time so okay if I see this is where I'm worried about getting lost so apologies if I do zoom in and out quite a lot um, I'm just trying to make sure that I don't miss anything I'm going to carry on walking up this way and then hopefully I can come back that way in a second or something so we've got a queue line here what's this for 
What is this for? I can't even work out what this is for. Is this the chair left? Oh no, this is the wooden coaster. Okay, we'll go on the wooden coaster in a second. Uh, I don't want to go on that just just for a minute. I want to try and re leave rides till the end if I can. We've got all this scene down here. We've got a waterfall over there, so I'm happy. Water feature. Yeah, brilliantly done again. All this rock work coming down with the foliage. Got an ATM there, or a cash machine as we call them in the UK. Just a nice little concept. Oh, there's a block of toilets there. Okay. So the toilet's just hidden away. And let's walk down here now then. So you got that. I would be tempted to maybe just take that support off. Maybe. Um, just because it's in the middle of the path. And then you got two staff rooms around here. A little seating area, very eerie, and it comes right next to where the wooden coaster is as well. So, this is a good little place to just have a sit down just while your friends and family go on the wooden coaster if you didn't want to go on. Let's walk under this canopy. Right, what's up here? I'm trying so hard to not get lost, I really am. Does this come back over to the other? Part. I'm not sure. Now, I know that this coaster, I think that's the one from the starting area. I think. Hang on, sorry. Zoom out again. No, this is a... No, this is a different coaster. Okay, wow, okay. I promise, guys, I had already walked around this park maybe two or three times before I started filming this spotlight because I knew that this was the type of park that I was going to get lost in. So... And you could probably see why as well. It's so intricate and so many paths going off in different directions. Is this an exit for a ride? No, this is an entrance for a ride. Okay, <laughs> yeah, wow. Okay, so we've got a flat ride down here all in the lava. I like how the coaster comes around it as well. So... Where is the exit for this then? Is that on the other side? Yes it is. So the exit's up here. Not going to lie, this is quite difficult. Quite difficult to get my bearings. And it doesn't help that I'm wanting to look at everything as well. Because there's just so much to see. I literally want to look at everything. We have got... The world's shortest queue. No, this is an exit. Oh my days. Right, there's also an entrance here as well. So that must be for that flat ride. So let's just have a look here. I mean, you've themed every single queue. Every queue line is themed. And most of them differently as well, which is great. Let's pop the exit here. Right, so here's the entrance for this. Right, so. Let's have a walk up in here. So we've got a station built into the haunted house. Nice station with all the cogs. Let's have a look at the stats for this. So, not sure what this is called. I didn't see any signs or anything. Green across the board, once again, almost 7 excitement. Very nice. G-Force is really good. Also, we've got 6 inversions. Yep, great. So, let's go for a ride on this.
Now, in the interests of openness and honesty, and that is one thing that I always am, no point doing spotlights. If I'm not honest, whether I like it or not sometimes, I am very sorry to say I didn't like that coaster. I'm really, really sorry. Um, there was quite a few reasons why as well. A couple of little niggly things. Like at the start, there was quite a few head chopping moments again. So like that first coaster, you were just deca uh, decapitating the guests once again. So that's, that's just a little bit of a slight niggle. Now, the theming of the ride, I liked. Um, I like the way that it's incorporated into the terrain, into the area. The footprint of the ride itself was really good. Almost felt like it told a story, and I really liked that part. But there was a lot of smoothing issues with that. Um, quite a lot of the ride, actually, as well. There was numerous places. There was one in particular, as soon as we started, I think it was like kind of down here. I'm just going to pause that quickly. I think it may have been, was it this corner? I think it was this corner here. Let me just unpause it again. So yeah, as you just saw as it came around that corner there, it was just way too sharp a turn. Um, really was way too sharp. Um, as it comes around here, uh, that was probably quite a good speed actually. And it comes down here. Maybe just took them just slightly too fast, potentially. And then it comes around here. And then I think it just needed a bit more smoothing around here. Maybe a bit of banking as well. And then we have this inversion here. I like that inversion. That's a great inversion. Do you know what? I think I may have been a little bit overly critical. Actually, I think that was a little bit overly critical. When I'm looking at, it, looking at it off the ride, I don't think it's quite as bad as I thought it was. You need to extend the brake run. Um, it did come into the station too fast, so I would put this bit and possibly this bit here as a brake run. I loved the inversion, just that final inversion there, but then just as it comes down, it just needs to slow down, coming all the way down here. I think maybe I was a little bit overly critical on that and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was but yeah certainly did require a lot of smoothing I'm afraid but now I've stopped being grumpy let's get out that out of the way I'm walking down the entrance so let's walk out the exit and let's come back up here again so we'll come up over this bridge I hate giving criticism. <laughs> I don't like it. I feel really guilty. And I know I get feedback from people. It's like, I don't mind feedback. I don't mind. But I, I, still, I still don't enjoy doing it. I feel really guilty. I don't like confrontation. Um, I love this. How you've done that drop tower there. And you've got the don't die fencing around it. I, I don't even know how you get down there. How do you get down there? There is the... That's the chairlift. No, that's the wooden coaster that we saw earlier on. So how do we get there? Hang on. I thought I'd already walked down this path. Had I walked down here? What's this? Right, that's the chairlift exit. No, so we mustn't have walked down this path then. Oh, dear. Right, okay. No, we definitely haven't walked down here. Wow, okay. We've got something going on here, um, some kind of ritual or something. It's like the Wicker Man or something like that. So we've got the flat ride there. This must be for the chairlift, which it is indeed. So how do we get down to that flat ride then? There's only one way to find out. Let's just come down. So let's just follow the entrance. What? What is all this? Hang on, the stairs here. Right, okay, okay, I've got it. Right, so if we follow these stairs down here, and then this will take you down to the lower level. Gotcha. Oh, dear. This really is a maze of a park. It really is. 
all all the caverns and dungeons. Dungeons is more like caverns, isn't it? I really like this though. Like differing areas of the park. It's not it is a consistent theme in the sense of it being Halloween themed. But differing areas. So you've got like the creepy village town and then you've got the caverns you've got the broken down castle so even though it's like one consistent theme you've still got differing areas with that theme which is really good it's nice to see that change right and let's go back up and we're going to go to the wooden coaster if i can find it and if i can't find it i'm just going to zoom out right so i think i remember where it was it was down here and then it was down here. Ah, oh, check this kid out. Nailed it. Right. So. Push past all these peasants. Get out the way. Nice station again. I... Already, looking at this, I think you're going to be... I don't know if this is an intentional thing. I don't know if you're intentionally trying to kill your guests. I don't know if maybe there's some... Like, sadistic part of you that's like, let's find it funny to just completely decapitate and behead your guests. I'm going to try and wait for a train to come back. Whilst we wait for a train to come back, let's have a look at the stats. So, we've got the monster. So, it's not green across the board this time. G-force is quite high again. You really are trying to kill your guests. Well, there we go. So, where is this train? All the way over there. Oh, it comes back this way. I was looking the wrong way for a start. Right. Will you make it without chopping your heads? Oh, look at them all ducking. Oh, bless their little hearts. They're like, oh, it's too low. <laughs> okay. Do you know what? I'm going to forgive you. I'm actually going to forgive you because that's not going to chop the heads off. Just don't put your hands up. As long as you don't raise your hands, you're fine. Anyone who raises their hands is most likely going to lose an arm. But, let's go for a ride on this. Enjoy, everybody. amazing I love that that was the best ride of the park so far not gonna pretend that it didn't need smoothing because it did again um, there was a couple of places where it did require quite a lot of smoothing but take that away from the equation it's absolutely fantastic the way that it goes in and out the cave system the lighting is fantastic I really like the choice of music that you've used on it as well and the bit where it goes in the caverns down here past these flat rides that's ace that is absolutely brilliant yeah 
thoroughly enjoyed that that was by far my favorite ride of the park so far so zoom out time now have we looked at everything on this side of the park i believe we have uh yeah we've looked at all that we've done all that i think we have you know i think we've done everything on that side and now we've done everything here so i don't think we've missed anything so that means we can go back to the start to them two coasters over there so i've been looking forward to this now these two coasters are ace so and we I, we hadn't actually looked down the street had we because i took a right straight away so we hadn't actually even looked down here i mean look at all this it really does feel like harry potter it does feel like Diagon Alley. I don't know if maybe that was a little bit of inspiration, possibly. But yeah, superb. All this down here. Like the overhanging bits as well. I love this. You've just got a random penguin there. Just why not? Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, because we took a left there, didn't we? So, alright. So we come back this way, and we take a right. So this must be a staff room. Yes, it is. Oh, it's eerie around here. Like, this is just insane. Absolutely fantastic. All the steaming around here. I think this is a ride exit, yes it is, so that's a ride exit for the wheel, so that must have been the queue line for the wheel then, was it? Yes it was indeed. Nice use of foliage around here, the vines and the weeds just around that. Got more shops, and then We've got the haunted house here, right? I'll go on that in a second. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Well, that doesn't look good. There goes the police car. Like every video. Anyone first time watching? I live next door to a police station, so we hear lots of police cars all the time. I think that's the ride exit. So. Let's go on this ride, shall we? So, let's have a look here. I love the fact that you're putting your stations inside haunted houses. That's ace. Look at this. This is ace. Very, very nicely themed. That is amazing. Right, let's have a look at the stats, shall we? So, it would have been nice to see names on all your rides, uh, to be honest. I know you've got the one name ride, but a lot of the others aren't, so that's a bit of a shame. Some really good excitement, 7.4, really nice. G-forces, some great G-forces as well this time, rather than some good limits. Hopefully we're not gonna try and kill any guests this time. But without further ado, let's go on this ride.
that was a lot shorter than I expected it to be. Behave, guys. I was being clean before people start sniggering. Yeah, that's what she said. Uh. Um... I'm sorry, I'm not sure what I thought of that one either, I'm afraid. Um, it's another one of them where I really, really like the theming. It's a consistent theme throughout the park. You've absolutely nailed the theming. I'm just not sure about the ride itself. It required a lot of smoothing again. A little part of me feels like the ride was too quick if honest. Um, I just want to kind of see it come round. Um, whereabouts is it? We're going to have to wait for it to go. Now I had to wait ages for this to go originally because it's not a very popular ride for some reason. The queue line wasn't very busy when we walked up it. But let's uh, speed that up so it goes up. And then let's just watch it go round. So that version's not too bad. Yeah, that was okay. And then it was head chopping moments there again. Now, I think it's from there. I think it's just all a little bit too fast, potentially. Because you've done, like, an amazing scene. Uh, right, there you go. Did I manage to pause it? No, I don't think I did. Instead, I just sped it up instead. So I pressed the wrong button there. But you've done all this amazing scene in here. But you come through so fast... Do you barely even have time to process it after having your head chopped off as well? And then coming down, it was just oh, wrong camera mode. Um, just again, just with a brake run, and just coming into the station, it just needed slowing down ever so slightly. But as I said, the theming is spot on, absolutely spot on, and. I do feel really bad that I am criticising the ride so much, but I have to be honest, um, there's no point in not being. A little part of me does wonder these head chopping moments, if you've done them intentionally? <laughs> Just because it's a Halloween park kind of thing, maybe? I don't know. Right, so we have one last coaster to go on. So let's come down here, back down this path. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. There we go. Right. So we've come through the graveyard for this queue line. It's just that lighting. Oh, it's just amazing. Great station build once again. Right. Let's have a look at the stats for this, shall we? So, Repent. So you've named this one. The the two names that you've right, uh, two rides that you have named are ace. They're really good names. We've got green across the board. G-Force on both a little bit high, but we'll bypass that for now. And for the final ride of the park, let's have a go. Enjoy, everybody. nice B&M coaster to end the spotlight on. It did require a little bit of smoothing again. Maybe not to the extent of some of the others, but maybe just some very slight. I love the theming of it once again. 
um, same as the rest of the rides in the park. Some great inversions as we went round. I think the only big thing that I would have said on that one is just again the brake run. Um, have all this round here as a brake run coming all the way around just as it comes around. And then even have this maybe as drive tyres just to bring it to a bit slower. It's just, it's just so you can see this as well. I actually completely missed this. So you've got like some kind of ritual going on in there as well. Repent. But there we go. There is the entire park. Now, I'm not going to have a look at this park in the daytime. Because there's no point. It's not that type of park. It's supposed to be specifically night time. So I'm not going to discredit this park by viewing it in the day. But be back. So. Um... Quite a lot of feedback for this park actually the first coaster that we went on uh this one i'm gonna have to pull the hood up for this i'm afraid so impaler impaler and the wooden coaster were absolutely superb absolutely brilliant love them the others a little bit hit and miss i'm afraid but that's not to take away from this park the positives in this park way outweigh the negatives. The terrain forming is spot on. I can't believe the amount of terraforming you've done in this park. It's insane. The lighting is incredible. Absolutely superb. Your architecture and building work is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. All this round here, I love all this building work around here and then all around the entrance as well all this street as you come in the entrance where is the entrance my where's the entrance my why have i got myself turned around here we go sorry right so all down here just absolutely brilliant they're quite square but it works it fits the theme i hadn't even noticed that look at that that's cool I'd miss that. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant. The way that the rides that I may not have been particularly sold on, despite that, I still liked the way that they interacted with the environment around them and the buildings and the other rides and things like that. There are so many positives in this park. So many positives. And I'm honoured that you actually approached me and asked me to do a spotlight personally um i really am touched thank you ever so much for that um and i'm very excited to see what you do moving forward i would like to maybe see a little bit more work done on the actual coasters themselves when it comes to the smoothing of them and the g-forces but i'd love to see that kind of some kind of park with this kind of theme maybe possibly something like that I, I don't know i don't know on that but there we go anyway there is the first park of our halloween week special so the next park will be ride the movies horror by magic mike 69 so a lot of people will be familiar with magic mike 69 and his ride the movies parks so that's a great park so make sure to tune in on wednesday and catch that one but thank you ever so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe if you are new. And I will see you on Wednesday for Ride the Movies Horror. And then on Friday for a very special premiere. Which I'm not saying any more about. Hope to see you there. Goodbye. Stay safe. Take care. Look after yourselves. Goodbye everybody.